Hello, I'm Mark Webber, and I have the honour to guide you through the world premiere here today of the new fully electric Porsche Taycan. It's going to be a sensational, sensational event because we have three locations in play, which is extraordinary. It's going to be live on News TV. .porsche.com as well. The journalists are going to see it simultaneously and we're going to be in the three special locations. Why we choose those locations? Because it's a renewable energy source and it's going to be starting off here in New Hardenburg in Germany. Germany. Where I am now, you can see the solar panels, 600,000 solar panels actually, which is quite extraordinary. It's the largest solar plant in Europe and it's over a 240 acre site, it is ginormous, and inside there we have a Taycan, which we're very, very excited about. And then I will guide you across to the Niagara Falls. Have a look at this location. There's the Taycan tucked in there as well. Look at that backdrop. Absolutely extraordinary. Very, very optimistic for us, but typical Porsche way. We're there at an incredible site. Look at that water running off, which has a great history for renewable energies and, and a source of electricity. And then from there, we're going to be heading to Pingtang in China. Look at this. It's obviously nighttime in China. Simultaneously, as we said, it's all going to be these locations are fully live as this is the wind component here. All the wind turbines there, which is in a special location with glorious beaches. So that is a phenomenal link between all the locations and we've got special guests in every single one of those locations and you can follow us through that right here, right now. So what's going to happen now? I'm going to talk you through also some of the records now that the Porsche Taycan has done because this car has already got a life to itself, typical Porsche way. It wants to push the boundaries before we give it out to the customers to buy. And that car started its journey a long time ago, but the first record went in November of 2018, you know, a few months back clearly, but this is a tough record, the 24 hour record. How many kilometers can you do in 24 hours? Well, the Porsche Taycan broke the record 3,000 425 kilometers for distance completed for a four door in this segment, which was an extraordinary achievement by the team and one they're very, very, very proud of clearly. So that was a tough one in the bank, but it continued on. So where do you go to next? If you're Porsche, well, you go to the Nordschleifer. And here is the car cutting through in the hands of my colleague Lars Kurz on the 21 kilometer green hell. What a lap he did, seven minutes 42. Again, segment best. Here he is through the carriage pushing the limits of that car and it was really really extraordinary for Lars to be able to put that lap together and then we went you see the celebrations here look at this this is what it means to the team you'll see a great shot at the end here with Stefan Wack Stefan Wackbach there he is congratulating Lars on that great lap and here in Germany again at an airfield we did launch controls launch controls 26 of them from 0 to 200 we only lost 0.7 of a second and again there is absolutely no other car in this segment that is capable of that sheer performance which is extraordinary so you have to as a racing driver, I'm used to having to deal with my neck, but that was an extraordinary achievement but from the guys to have that launch control in play. So this is how it's going to work. We're going to go to all of those locations, as I said. We're going to have those live, ready to go. There they are. Uh, it's an extraordinary time, an extraordinary event. Big, big day for us. But from what I'm hearing, I'm hearing now that Oliver Bloomer, CEO of Porsche, is ready to roll just across the street here. Let's go across to Oliver Bloomer. It's like the wind, some say. Some say it's like you the wind. It. You can't see it. But you know it's there. But you know that it's there. It's like deep sea. Deep as you an can't ocean. Measure it. But you, you can't it just every grasp it. Drop. But you can feel it in every single drop. It's like a warm touch of light 
It's you like a it. sonar, they say. You is. can't grasp it. You, can't buy you don't know it. its Follow weight. You can't buy it. it. But you, can you can't catch it. it. But you can feel it. The proof is written in history books. The proof Record is in book. history books. And the faces of every Porsche driver on the road today. And you can see it on the face of every Porsche driver. Performance, performance the along the mile. decades. The thing All the things, the impression you feel, car. you sense with each every kilometer. Has one. Everything that and you miss will. when driving another car, you will always the find soul. it in a Porsche. The soul. Feel that. Can you feel it? It's only because we kept on changing that Porsche always remained Porsche. 70 years of sporty cars are like 70 years of evolution and revolution. And with the Taycan, of course, we stick to this tradition. It's the first full electric car, charged in a couple of minutes. And he will be ready to go, ready for a new era of electromobility. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very happy to have you here for the presentation of the Porsche Taycan. Here in Berlin, of course, but also on the two other locations in China and in Canada. Each one of those locations represents a specific um, renewable energy sources and symbolizes the nat natural power that can be used to drive the Taycan. At the wind turbine farm in Pyongyang in China, it's wind power. The major solar power plant in Berlin stands for solar energy. And here at Niagara Falls, it's hydropower. I also would like to welcome all those who are taking part on the live stream. And with the Taycan, it's the first full electric sports car we present. Our brand has always been associated with dreams. Design and functionality go hand in hand. Innovation and tradition also belong together. A brand where the ultimate in performance counts just as much as everyday drives. Exclusiveness and social acceptance go hand in hand. But Porsche is about more than this. Our cars redefine technological standards. Um Innovationen von der Rennstrecke auf die Straße zu bringen, fahren sie auf Sieg in Le Mans. These cars compete for victory at Le Mans, which is the world's toughest endurance test, and uh, they define their drivers' everyday lives. Porsche is an icon. It's iconic. Why? Because every Porsche has a soul, and this soul cannot be grasped, and it's difficult to describe. It is the team behind all this, the people who create this soul, the employees, the loyal customers, the fans, Hollywood legends, and our racing car heroes with their actions, with their words, with their action. Our very first vehicle, the Roadster 3. 56, number one, has this soul. So does the 911, and so does the Taycan. With this car, we redefine Porsche in a sustainable way, and thereby we follow a strategy. We will stay a car maker which builds sporty cars. Petrol engines are, are here to stay in our product lineup, efficient and emotional like the 911. And the second pillar of the product strategy are plug-in, cutting edge and high performance. To give you just one example, the Cayenne Turbo S I hybrid. We invest until 2022. 
till 2020, we will be investing more than 6 billion in electromobility. And we assume that by 2025, one out of two Porsche will have an electric driver. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, we've got our work cut, cut out for us. We're very ambitious, but we have risen to the task. The Porsche workforce has more than doubled since 2011 to almost 34,000 employees worldwide. Together, we have made things happen that many considered impossible. For example, we are planning to build this new factory at our main plant in Zuffenhausen, the production site of the 9-11 and of the 718. A big, big project. And this is how, you know, we are smart, lean and green with the most modern production methods. Uh, Smart, Perfection, lean, passion and green. with digital so technologies. Smart, Taycan lean Taycan. and green. This is the slogan for our new Taycan production. Our head of production, Albrecht Reinhardt, will now explain this uh, in great uh, details. He was on the road a few couple of days ago in the new assembly hall and will give us now a first uh, exclusive sneak preview. Ladies and gentlemen, we are inside the production facility of the first full electric Porsche. More precisely, I am in the assembly hall. This assembly hall is one of four facilities that we have built here in Zuffenhausen. We also have a new body shop, we have a new paint shop, and what I think is particularly important, the components production where the electric motors and axles are built. Um, in total, we have invested approximately 700 million euro here in Zuffenhausen. And all of this during full production capacity of two-door sports cars. This in itself was already a massive challenge. But it was worth it because we are convinced that the Taycan must be produced here at home, directly where the heart of Porsche beats. Within the framework of Porsche production 4.0, we follow three principles, smart, lean, and green. This driverless transport system is a fantastic example of smart. This is how the Taycan can go through the assembly processes. Our workplace design allows us to meet the needs and ergonomic requirements of our employees. Lean is the second pillar of uh, Porsche production for Zero. We implemented efficient processes that make careful use of resources. The third element is green. Here, at our main plant in Zuffenhausen, production is CO2 neutral, and our clear goal is to create a factory with a zero carbon footprint that will have no impact on the environment whatsoever. While taking all of this into consideration, the Taycan must meet the typical Porsche quality standards. We want to be a benchmark for electric vehicles. Benchmark, a good buzzword by Albrecht Reimold. Albrecht, we uh, thank you for the first impressions from our plant. The Taycan will definitely set new standards. This car ushers in a new chapter in our history, helping us from a pure sports car manufacturer to a provider of sports car inspired exclusive mobility. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to roll. The time has come for the first all electric Porsche. What an incredible journey the Porsche brand has gone on. It was incredible to hear the boss, Oliver Bloomer, explain where we've got to in electrification with the new Taycan and also the commitment Porsche have towards all the production and everything at Zuffenhausen. It's truly extraordinary, the journey we're going on here. But I want to take us now to the Niagara Falls, a place of natural beauty and also a place that is renowned for water energy. Uh, it has 13 generators on site, huge generators, of course, producing a huge amount of electricity. So it's an incredible venue and who better to talk us through the technical and the performance facts of the car than Stefan Wackbach. Stefan?
Ladies and gentlemen, what makes the Taycan so special? It's easy. It's a Porsche, and not just in name. The Taycan is a high-performance sports car. It shows the transfer of technology from motorsport to series production. In this car, we see the DNA of the 918 Spider Super Sports car and the 919 Hybrid, our three-time winner of Le Mans. That's clear as soon as you sit behind the wheel. Let's have a look at the key facts. Top track speeds up to 260 kilometers per hour, consistently over a long period. Acceleration, zero to 100 in just 2.8 seconds. Zero to 200, amazing 9.8 seconds. And not only once or twice, but many times in a row with no loss of power. The overboost function in launch control provides a peak power of up to 560 kilowatts, which equals 761 PS in the combustion world. And the maximum torque of the Taycan is up to incredible 1,050 Newton meters. Believe me, the Taycan is ready for the racetrack. It has proven as much on the Nürburgring Nordschleife where it achieved a sensational lap time of 7 minutes 42 seconds only. Which means the Taycan is the sportiest electric car in its class, just like any other Porsche. But there's much more it can do, namely long distances. WLTP, the Taycan achieves a range of up to 450 kilometers. In our long distance run at Nardo, our team achieved more than 3,400 kilometers in 24 hours. And when it comes to charging, the Taycan is also ready for everyday use. It can charge with a peak power of 270 kilowatts. This means under ideal circumstances, it takes just five minutes to be ready for another 100 kilometers of range. The impressive combination between sportiness and everyday usability is part of what we call intelligent performance. The Taycan is the first series production car based on an 800 volt system, twice as much as the current market standard. This allows the car to offer repeatable and constant performance. It also reduces weight, and enables a compact package. Two permanent magnet synchronous motors generate impressive power. In addition to that, we have developed a two-speed transmission for the rear axle. The first gear ensures maximum takeoff performance, while the second offers high speeds and accelerations reserves, as you expected in a sports car. The performance battery with a cross capacity of 93 kilowatt hours enables long ranges and short charging times. Its central placement on the floor means the vehicle has a very, very low center of gravity, even lower than in our 911. Aerodynamics, also extremely important for range. We have succeeded in an outstanding drag coefficient of only 0.22 without any compromising on the design, which you will see later. The chassis has always been part of our core expertise, and the Taycan is taking this expertise to the next level. Systems like electric active roll stabilization, three-chamber air suspension, and rear axle steering are available and guarantee a fantastic balance between very sporty driving dynamics and comfortable ride quality. In addition to that, the coordination between the electric motors and the chassis systems is very sensitive and reactive, five times faster and much more precise than in conventional all-wheel systems. The Taycan also has best-in-class regenerative power up to 265 kilowatts, only by using one pedal, the brake pedal. That is efficient and sports car-like. 
And of course, the Taycan will be fully connected. This makes software updates possible as well as functions on demand. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to strong performance, range, charging speed, and connectivity, Porsche is setting new standards with its first all-electric four-door sports car, a real game changer. We are absolutely convinced that the Taycan will capture the hearts of our customers. That's because with this sports car, we have not only succeeded in combining electromobility with emotion, but also added soul. The Taycan is a true Porsche. The Taycan is soul electrified. Well, how about that for a performance numbers? Under Stefan Buckbach's leadership, he really has done an incredible job with his team. And I've had some exposure to how he performs in terms of how he's directing things, and he's a real perfectionist. So uh, to see the numbers out in the open now, very, very, very special indeed. But we're now going to move to another venue all the way around the world. We're only a couple of minutes away from seeing the Taycan, but Ping Tan Island is the fifth, fifth biggest island in China. China is world leading in its wind energy. They've got over 50 turbines there and they're generating over 100 megawatts of power. It's truly extraordinary. It's a world heritage site because of its uniqueness and cultural excellence, beautiful beaches and stunning stone houses. So it's an incredible location. And when we talk about stunning, we need to talk about design. So let's now get Peter Varga to run us through inside and the styling of the Taycan. gentlemen, creating a new icon. This and nothing less was our vision when we started with the initial sketches for the Taycan, the first fully electric sports car for Porsche. A challenging and at the same time a very exciting task. There was no role model, but one thing was very clear. We were not starting from zero. An electric Porsche has to fit perfectly to our sports car family. The most important factor in the beginning, the proportions. And the Taycan definitely redefines that in the segment. Proportions that fit Porsche with the sporting width to height ratio. The unique layout of the batteries in the chassis makes this form possible. As a result, the rear passenger sits even lower than expected and the driver position is very similar to that in the 911. But now let us have a look at the front. We no longer need more space for combustion engine. Therefore, we could lower the bonnet. Combined with the extremely pronounced front fenders, we can emphasize the topography of the front end, which is typical for Porsche. Characteristic on the front are the new headlights with their progressive and very slim graphic. The unique Porsche four-point light signature has been implemented with even more precision. And the Taycan has a completely new face for Porsche. The headlight shape has a floating optic and combines itself with a functional air curtain. This optimizes the aerodynamics and increases its range. Two further important features in side view are the fast looping roof line and the side window graphic, which is inspired by the 911. Combined with a sculptural three dimensional body side, the Taycan leaves no doubt that it is a true Porsche. As we transition to the rear of the Taycan, you will see the wide and real shoulder to together with the compact greenhouse. Combined with the low position of the number plate and the pronounced diffuser, the car sits 
better on the road and shows a very powerful appearance and stance. The light strip is one of the main features on the rear of a Porsche. It's much more than just a taillight. In the Taycan, it is precise, highly detailed, and seamless with the Porsche logo in a transparent three-dimensional optic. In the interior, the challenge to connect heritage and future of the brand was even greater. The most important factor in the beginning was clear. The driver is in the focus. The driver display, with its new freestanding curve design, emphasizes the, the, the form and ensures everything of importance is in a view. The clean and minimalistic design of the dash panel is supported by a seamlessly integrated center display, an optional front passenger display, and a new innovative air vents. The operating system has been completely redeveloped for the Taycan. Everything a driver needs is in the digital world has been restructured, prioritized, and cleanly designed. It is intuitive and easy to use, so it's typical for Porsche. The sloping center console combined with the modern sports seats emphasize the feeling of a low and very sporty sitting position. The material and color concept make it possible to tailor individual features from traditional through modern. Classic leather is available as well as a sustainable tanned leather and for a first time in a Porsche, we offer completely leather-free trim. And the range of additional trim options emphasized the care to detail. Ladies and gentlemen, it was an unbelievably exciting journey from the very first sketch to today's presentation. Everything Porsche has stood for in the past and everything Porsche stands for in the future is connected in the Taycan and we are proud of the result. The interior, how they've managed to get that car looking so, so sexy, but yet sticking to our traditions in places where we can. And where Stefan mentioned how far ahead we are on the technical side, I think when it comes to the finish and the excellence and the quality in the design side is also gonna be an absolute game changer. So where does that leave us now? It leaves us now that you haven't seen the car yet and we're ready to show you the brand new Porsche Taycan. And the man that's going to do that, the man of the hour, is going to pull the trigger at all three locations around the world. We're ready to see it. Please, over to you, Oliver Bloomer. Functional, sexy, soulful, timeless beauty. This was the spec sheet for the first all-electric Porsche sports car. Today, four years down the road, we can say mission completed. Yes, the Taycan is all of that, and it is much more. The Taycan brings us much closer to our sustainability goals. It stands for traditional innovation, pioneering spirit, and timeless design. Maximum soul and state-of-the-art mobility. The Taycan is a thoroughbred Porsche, and yet it is different from anything else we have created in more than 70 years of Porsche sports car. 100% electric, 100% Porsche. The soul. 
can't miss it. Here. The soul. Here. You can feel it here and there. Or here. And here again. Electrified by water. Electrified, Electrified by water. Through water. Electrified and through by sun. wind. Electrified it's here. through the sun. Makes you breathe. Which is here. Which is there. Which makes Move. you breathe. the way for an electric Feel. Feature. Get ready for an electrifying future. to get it finally out for the whole world to see it Oliver and I mean look at the response it's just extraordinary the weather's amazing the cherry is totally on the top you must be feeling extremely proud right now for us it's a very exciting day to be here after a four-year engineering period we are going to a new era for for Porsche um, all of us we are very proud of this new product and uh, our idea was uh, when we launched the first full electric car of Porsche it should be a real Porsche yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, there's no doubt that we've achieved that. So thanks very much for your time. Thanks for today. Everyone watching all around the world. It's been a very, very audacious attempt from us to launch the car and it's worked out absolutely brilliantly. We, we thank you for watching uh, all around the world and the car's going to be out soon. Go and see it. See it in the flesh. We're very proud of it. It's really, really an iconic day for Porsche when it comes to automotive. All the best. Thank you very much.